Hey guys, this is Samantha and welcome to another My Tan Feet video. In this video, we are going to do part one of day trips in Guanacaste. And these are going to be the best day trips from Tamarindo, Playa del Coco, or any of the neighboring beaches. We have a lot to share with you, so let's go. Number one on our list is Rio Celeste, the sky blue river inside Tenorio Volcano National Park. Rio Celeste is the perfect day trip for hiking and nature lovers, as you will be trekking through the lush rainforest to see the waterfall in Sky Blue River. The entire trail is around six kilometers or three and a half miles and is a must see in Costa Rica. The next best day trip in Guanacaste is Diamante Eco Adventure Park. This adventure park is excellent for families as they have an animal sanctuary with daily sloth feeding presentations, a traditional house for a cultural experience of chocolate, coffee, and sugarcane, and one of the most exciting ziplining tours in the country. Their 1.3 kilometer ocean view zipline is a must do in Costa Rica for adrenaline junkies. They also offer an excellent lunch buffet. Next up is one of our most highly recommended day trips from Playas del Coco or Tamarindo, Palo Verde National Park. The Palo Verde day trip consists of a safari boat tour down the Tempisque River to see wildlife, such as iguanas, bats, monkeys, crocodiles, and river birds. It doesn't require any strenuous activity, so Palo Verde is the perfect day trip in Guanacaste for those who are visiting with seniors or young kids, as you will be riding a covered motorized riverboat and it takes about a half a day so you can be back at your hotel by mid-afternoon. Palo Verde offers a highly interesting and educational wildlife watching experience for all visitors. The next day trip in Guanacaste is for the surfers, a surf trip to Witch's Rock. There are a ton of surfing beaches in Guanacaste, including Tamarindo, but for those looking for the ultimate surf experience, a Witch's Rock surf trip is a must. You'll boat about an hour from Playa del Coco to the iconic surf spot inside Santa Rosa National Park, and on heavy days with a swell, waves can get up to six feet or more, ideal for those dreaming of getting barreled in Costa Rica. On normal days, waves are absolutely perfect for longboarding and shortboarding, with long, open, and glassy A-frame waves. The last day trip in this video is the La Leona waterfall hike. This waterfall hike is only 30 minutes from Liberia, and you'll be hiking in the tropical dry forest, swimming in a beautiful blue river, and climbing through caves and canyons to get to a hidden cave waterfall. The La Leona waterfall hike is definitely for those looking for a memorable outdoor activity, and after the fun hike, you can relax in their natural blue river pools. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you're interested in any of these activities, we have links to our posts in the description below for more details. And also you can contact us if you wanna book any of these tours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.